Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Bills make final Mitchell Trubisky decision after reunion buzz. Mitchell Trubisky is back in a familiar place. Released by the Pittsburgh Steelers in the early goings of the 2024 NFL offseason, Trubisky is now back with the Buffalo Bills after agreeing to terms with the AFC East franchise, according to Mike Garofola of the NFL Network. The Bills have agreed to terms with QB Mitch Trubisky to return to Buffalo, sources say. Tim Graham reported they were in talks. Now a done deal. The Steelers cut Trubisky early to give him a shot to find his next gig before free agency begins. He's done just that. Trubisky served as Josh Allen's backup during the 2021 NFL season, and he is expected to reprise that role in 2024. The Bills are always going to be Allen's team so long as he's healthy, so Trubisky will act mostly as an insurance in the position for Buffalo, which finished the 2023 NFL season with an 11-6 record. During his first stint with the Bills, Trubisky, selected by the Chicago Bears second overall at the 2017 NFL Draft, appeared in six games and passed for just 43 yards with zero touchdowns and an interception. After his initial stint with the Bills, Trubisky found a job with the Steelers, who signed him to a two-year deal worth $11.25 million. During his time in the AFC North Division, the former North Carolina Tar Heels star recorded 1,884 passing yards and eight touchdowns against 10 interceptions, while completing 64.1% of his passes across 12 games. He went just 2-5 as a starter for the Steelers. Breaking, former Chicago Bears QB Mitch Trubisky signs with former team. Former Chicago Bears number 2 overall pick Mitch Trubisky is set to rejoin a familiar offense for the 2024 season. The Pittsburgh Steelers released Trubisky in February following a two-year stint that saw him go from number 1 on the depth chart to being benched in favor of Mason Rudolph. The Steelers signed Trubisky before the 2022 NFL draft when Pittsburgh would go on to draft Kenny Pickett in the first round. Trubisky lost his starting job to the rookie during the 2022 season. Reports surfaced early Wednesday afternoon that Trubisky was in talks to sign with the Buffalo Bills. Per Mike Garafalo with the NFL Network, Trubisky signed with the Bills for the 2024 campaign. Trubisky's signing came on a busy day for the Bills, who announced numerous cuts of multiple Pro Bowl and All-Pro caliber players as the team tries to balance its cap space for the upcoming season. The Bills also chose not to retain a coach for the 2024 season. Trubisky signed with the Bills for the 2021 season after his rookie campaign with the Bears. He stayed one season in Buffalo before signing with the Steelers. Should starting quarterback Josh Allen go down, the Bills have added a quarterback they feel comfortable with running their offense. As for the Bears, they're expected to trade Trubisky's replacement, Justin Fields, after a mediocre stint in Chicago. The Bears will have a chance to taste what quarterback life is like with a number one pick. Should the Bears select Caleb Williams, the franchise can leave behind the nightmares of the Trubisky and Fields eras. Should Steelers pursue CB Trey Davius White? Should the Pittsburgh Steelers pursue CB Trey Davius White? Be the Pittsburgh Steelers need another cornerback, and a former All Pro is heading for the market, the Buffalo Bills releasing Trey Davius White as a post June designation. White earned All Pro honors in his third and fourth seasons, but injuries have since derailed his career. As Dave Bryan recapped yesterday, slash A, White tore his ACL in 2021 and then his Achilles in 2023. Due to injuries, he has missed 30 games over the course of the past three years. In four games played last season, he recorded 10 tackles with one for loss, an interception, and two passes defensed. The Steelers signed Patrick Peterson as a free agent a year ago and drafted Joey Porter Jr. The latter is their clear number one cornerback entering 2024. Peterson's role, and roster spot, less concrete. Levi Wallace, James Pierre, and Shandon Sullivan are all pending unrestricted free agents, on top of everything else. Despite his resume, 
White's injury history and age, now 29, will take a toll on his market value. He signed a four-year, $69 million extension with the Bills in 2020. Buffalo still owed him more than $20 million over the next two seasons. I think it's reasonable to assume teams will value him below the numbers he earned in Buffalo. He may not even sign with a team until he is fully healthy, and I don't know exactly where that lands in the recovery timetable. Obviously, interest in White needs to be viewed through a risk-slash-benefit analysis. Can the Steelers trust him to play up to a certain level given his injuries? How much are other teams willing to pay to find out the answer to that question? He's far from the only cornerback available, certainly. Alex Kazora offered several candidates yesterday, such as Sean Murphy Bunting and Jeff Okuda. There are others such as Kendall Fuller, Shaquille Griffin, and Chido Bawuzi also hitting the market. The Steelers' 2023 season has been put out of its misery, ending as so many have before in recent years, a disappointing, blowout playoff loss. The only change up lately is when they miss the playoffs altogether. But with the Buffalo Bills stamping them out in the wild card round, they have another long offseason ahead. The biggest question hanging over the team is the quarterback question. Is Kenny Pickett the guy? Will he get another season's reprieve without a serious challenge? How will the team address the depth chart? Do they re sign Mason Rudolph, one of few significant unrestricted free agents? The Steelers are swirling with more questions this offseason than usual, frankly, though the major free agent list is less substantial than usual. It's just a matter of, what happens next? Where do they go from here? How do they find the way forward? Rob Gronkowski had an incredible NFL run. The former tight end won four Super Bowls and was a multiple-time pro bowler. Gronkowski reminisced about a quarrel he had with Buffalo Bills' CB Trey Davies White. The then-Patriots tight end gave White a people's elbow that resurfaced in 2023. Gronkowski ran a route during a 2017 Bills game when White got physical and intercepted the ball. Gronkowski then elbowed White while he was on the ground. The former tight end explained the events that led to his notorious cheap shot on a podcast with Julian Edelman, he pulled my elbow like three times. I was trying to get my incentives as well. I had to get another 300 yards, and, the 20 yards I lost against him, would have juiced me up. And it just made me mad bro, Gronkowski told Edelman via games with names. The former Patriot tight end said the officials were too lenient with the Bills' physicality. Of course, it was not the same story when Gronkowski got physical. Every time I was a little bit physical, they were throwing the flag at me. I was like, how? I just got held like 50 times this game and now you're going to throw the flag at me? I finally lost it, Gronkowski said. Frustrations boiled over and Gronkowski gave Trey Davies White a brutal people's elbow to the back of the head. He was upset at the time, but the legend tight end probably would not make the same choice again. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation Tredavious White? Leave your opinion in the comments.